Hi everyone, uh, I'm going to be talking about my program pathway and what successful completion of my program pathway looks like. So I am getting a master's of education with an education specialist credential, uh, mild to moderate. Um, and the coursework, the classes that we need to take for my pathway, I have them here on my laptop. Um, so first we have our prerequisite classes which is the class which are the classes that we're registered for now um which is special educational foundations the learner and the learning environment and then uh professional learning and practice which is obviously this class um and then we also have edu 62050 which is content knowledge and instructional practice for uh, differentiated learning um, and then we have EDU 62120A uh, which is content knowledge and instructional practice to literacy um, and then we have EDU 62350 content knowledge and learning practice one elementary methods <clears throat> um, and then we have EDU 62460 which is clinical practice one planning um and then we have edu 62470 which is clinical practice two teaching and learning and then we have edu 62480 which is clinical practice three assessment um and then we have edu 62630 content knowledge and instructional practice three teaching english learners uh and then we have edu 68 900B, which is clinical practice for reflection and professional responsibility. And then we have TCH 76860, which is introduction to research. And then TCH 76910, which is research in action communities of practice. And then we have TEL 71710, which is educational technology. So these are all of the courses that are required um for me to pass with a b or better in order to successfully complete the academic aspect of completing my program pathway so all of the clinical practice courses one through four are the classes that um i have to be enrolled or be um actively participating in a clinical practice in order to be enrolled in these courses each term we need to complete 198 hours of clinical practice hours total and then to just kind of give a breakdown of those hours so 50 of the 50 of those hours need to be spent in a gen ed classroom setting a um, hundred of those hours are to be spent in a special ed classroom setting 36 of those hours are for me to be supervised and additionally additionally supported by a director support 12 of those hours are to be spent doing English language learner support or ELL. Um, so those are kind of the breakdowns of the hours that need to be logged each course. So as part of the requirements for clinical practice, we are supposed to submit formal video assessments or evaluations. Um, we're supposed to submit three of them per course. If the evaluations are not submitted on time, 10% uh, gets deducted each day and then on the third day it is no longer um, eligible for grading. And finally my backup plan if I do not um, stay on track is to still get a position at a school um, in a special ed classroom whether it's as a paraeducator um, or potentially um, getting a job as an RBT again and working one-on-one -on -one with special needs students um, to kind of just get more into that field and get more experience. Um, I also plan to retake any exams that I may need to retake um, if my coursework does not meet the requirements. 